This amazing 4x4 Expedition Vehicle behind me is the Adventure Truck by Global Expedition Vehicles. Today, I'm going to give you a full walkthrough of this Adventure Truck and show you all the cool components of what this thing has to offer. The Adventure Truck is built on the Ram 5500 chassis. Now, Global Expedition Vehicles has done extensive modifications to this, including upgrading the suspension components and putting on these big 40-inch tires. At the front of the Adventure Truck, there is an AEV front bumper with fog lights and a worn 16,500 pound winch. Now, in order to see where you're going at night, there are nine inch LED lights on the front of this thing. But let's talk about the actual body of the adventure truck. Global Expedition Vehicles makes these bodies in-house. They are a fiberglass composite wall with closed cell foam insulation. Now they've made sure to have exterior storage bays. All the storage bays are lockable. There are three on the driver's side and a couple more on the passenger side. There's another storage bay here at the back of the truck. But the feature I like most is the spare tire. Now, 40 inch tire and rim, that's gonna be heavy and difficult, almost impossible for some people to bring it down or lift it back up. So they have included a winch, so you don't have to worry about that. They've also included an ax and shovel, as well as max tracks to get you out of any of those sticky situations. Now on the passenger side, you have an awning, a couple more storage bays, and this is where the cassette toilet is housed. Now the outside of this vehicle is awesome, but I really wanna go inside and see what this has to offer. Well, we might as well start at the front of the adventure truck. Now this box is just over 20 feet long and I am at the dinette. Now, if you can see it, there is a pass through into the cab of the truck, which is really nice. There are screens that come down so you have privacy at night. You've got this table, seating for two. And in this particular truck, they're put in an extension for the countertop that you can move when someone wants to sit across from you. As I showed, the table does turn, and above the table, you've got these nice LED lights for seeing whatever you've got here. Now above me, there is a huge skylight. This does open to let in fresh air, and you've got these shades that pull across. So the first one is actually a bug screen. If you keep going, you've got a nightshade. Now in the galley, you look at all the walls and this nice smooth finish for the composite fiberglass walls and all that insulation. It's actually very noisy outside. We're at an expo right now, but you get very little noise into the living area itself. Here they have double pane acrylic windows that actually fold outward and they have the same bug screen and nightshade. There's a nice size stainless steel sink with an induction cooktop. There's a microwave outlet, USB ports to charge your devices, and here's an isotherm refrigerator. And finally in the galley, there is a nice size drawer here for all of your stuff. These do have soft close and a lock to keep the drawer from coming out when you're driving. Now, in terms of fresh water, there are 90 gallons total in dual 45 gallon tanks. This also has 20 gallon gray water tank and all of the black water from the toilet goes into that cassette that I mentioned earlier. Now in the bedroom area, 
This is a queen size bed. It is 60 by 80 inches, except for this little cutout here. There is another acrylic window back there, storage, and an AC system. Now the AC system is 12 volt. The adventure truck comes with 800 amp hours of lithium battery and anywhere between four to 600 watts of solar on the roof to keep you charged up. Below the bed, we've got more storage. There's teak flooring in the wet bath. There is the cassette style toilet and the top does rotate. You can see the wand for the shower, plenty of storage in the back, another window with day and night shades, almost a full length mirror. And when I was talking about attention to detail earlier, you notice there are seals on the door so that when you're in here, no water is going to leak out. And what's really nice is with these smooth fiberglass walls, when you're done taking a shower, you can just take a rag and wipe everything down and you're good to go. Right outside the bathroom, there's more storage. So you've got this small hanging closet along with more shelving. I do like that they put this little carpet at the bottom of the shelves so things don't rattle around as much. Now these are the controls for the Wabasto furnace and hot water heater. Now what's nice about these is these are fed off of the diesel tank of the truck. These trucks come with extended range fuel tanks up to 100 gallons. To the left is the master volt control panel for the battery monitor. Now, as I mentioned, there are 800 amp hours of lithium batteries, but this also has a 3000 watt inverter. The question that I always get when I make these videos is, how much is it? Well, this model of the adventure truck comes adventure ready at $290,000. Now, this particular adventure truck that we're in is actually being sold on consignment. So there are a number of different features and things that are different in this than you'll get if you were to order your own adventure truck. Now for Kate and myself, this is the ultimate adventure vehicle. We got a chance to head down to the factory, see how the walls are made, all the different fabric choices and things. And again, just that attention to detail. So who knows, maybe one day we could roll around in one of these for a bit and see what it's like to live out of one. But anyway, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you wanna see more cool content, Head on over to our website at wertherussos.com. We'll see you next time. Bye.